So, how many chromatographers do we have in the house tonight, huh? <laughs> wow, that many. Hey, it's not easy being a chromatographer, believe me. I know. All those glazed looks you get when you start talking about work. Like... Chap lips in the cold room, huh? You know what I'm talking about, huh, sir? <laughs> Look at those things. Wow. Hey, no salt on the margarita, okay? It's gonna sting. Ah, oh, man. Protein purification is hard, all right? But come on, does it really have to cost so much? I thought chromatography was the separation of proteins, not separating a lab from its money. Huh? Sup, salt, man. If I had $100 for every time my system started acting up, I'd still be way over budget because the service calls cost so much. It's like having a bad therapist. First they exaggerate all my problems, and then they constantly pile on all these expensive appointments. Oh, we gotta meet again, we gotta meet again. You can't afford chapstick, it's ridiculous. And don't get me started on service rep availability, okay? I left so many voice messages for my service rep, my wife, she got suspicious and hired a private investigator. Even he couldn't track the guy down. <laughs> understand why they claim to be the best at fractions. Because they only offer a fraction of the service. <laughs> it makes perfect sense. Honestly though, what do you expect from a company that dabbles in everything from washing machines to missile systems? Setting priorities obviously isn't one of the strong suits. But it's the downtime that causes the most damage. Last week I stumbled upon this chromatography support group they were having their meetings in the cold room. Those people have truly suffered. Their frozen tears still haunt me. This one guy, his story was so sad. He's had to put off graduating three times because every time it's his turn to use the chromatography system, the thing is down. He calls it the deactivator. <laughs> Poor guy. But don't get me wrong, I love chromatography. But I've been in enough relationships to know that if one party is high maintenance, has loads of unresolved issues, and just emotionally exhausts me, then it's probably best just to move on. Even if they're Swedish and look hot and red. Right? 